Jeannie and John Alcott welcome you to Word of Power broadcast today. This message can equip and empower you to achieve and receive what God has for you. We believe by the end of this teaching and time of prayer, you will feel the power of God in a greater way. You'll sense how near He is and how He desires to help you. As God's presence and anointing touches you, receive the miracles and answers waiting for you. We encourage you to contact us at the end of this broadcast. Jeannie and John are ready to pray in faith over your life. Now, receive a word of power. Thank you for spending time with me today. It's so good to have you join me. This is Jeannie Alcott. Doesn't it seem there's so much marketing we hear that promises to make our life easier? If you purchase this or you start a certain kind of activity or you make this choice, then everything will come together and your conditions will be good. And some of those are very good options or products. But in spite of how adequate or excellent a promise may be, none of them are as reliable as God's promise. We can rely on Him when He says He can pull everything together to make conditions easier. We don't have to exist in hard conditions and put up with them. We have something so much more powerful than the conditions. Our faith in God and His ability and willingness to make those conditions easier. That's what He desires to do for you now. In spite of how harsh and hard your surroundings may be, God can cause them to become so much nicer and easier that it's a miracle. Don't believe that you're not special enough to Him to receive this kind of attention and help. He's ready to make this happen for you, just as sure as He did for a woman who was caught in some terrible conditions. Let me tell you her story. Her name was Mary, and she was born the youngest of nine children. Both her father and mother passed away when she was young, so she went to stay with an uncle. After a while, she met a man named John, and they became married and had six children. Her husband moved from job to job, and so their household had to move often. That was so difficult on that family, not to mention on their finances, so they had much debt. In addition to that, Mary was now fighting illness. One day, her husband said he was going to go out and seek some work to help their financial condition. But he never returned. He abandoned that family and gave them no support. Well, she found out later that he'd been planning to go for a year. She also found out years after that that he had married another woman without divorcing her. We can imagine how all of this affected her. The only thing she could do was to move near relatives. But she knew all this time she could depend on God. So when her illness became worse and she couldn't get out of bed, she kept reading the Bible trusting the promise she read there that she could have good health and her conditions could become easier. Mary realized God was the one who had to pull it together so their family could be taken care of and happy once again. So as she was meditating on God's word one day, his presence came to her in a strong way. She said it felt as if his presence moved over her being. And then she heard these words, Fear not, be not afraid, it is I. She knew right away it was the Spirit of God. So she began to praise Him, and she reached out to receive a touch of His power. And then God said for her to get up and get dressed, which was impossible before now because of her illness. But she tried it and was able to get up out of bed and get dressed. It amazed her family. And then she realized she was healed. That weakness and illness were gone. She had her life back. You know, you hear that sometimes. You can get your life back if you do such and such. Well, God had given her life to her again. He had given her health and encouragement and a new sense of purpose. Mary began to travel from house to house in her town so she could give her story. And after she would give her testimony, she would pray for them. Now, her relatives weren't real comfortable with her doing that, but she knew God had called her to share what he had done and pray for others. Soon she began to travel across the entire state where she was, which was Pennsylvania. By this time, her children had grown up and they went out on their own, so Mary began to travel full time. She would go from house to house, but she was also invited to speak at meetings, and because of that, she saw so many people helped. She eventually wrote a book. Now, during this time, she found out that when her husband had gone, he moved to Arkansas, and now he had passed away. So she went to court, and she filed to receive the finances from his estate. The court granted her request. Now she received some of the support her husband had refused to give them all those years. She had faced such horrific conditions, illness, heavy responsibility, and burdens. 
a husband who didn't help provide, forsaken and abandoned. But God brought everything together to make those conditions easier. Even though much was working against her, health, husband, discouragement, finances, God pulled it together, and she completed her calling and had financial support and good health. He brought her miracles. She believed he would because he promised in his word he would. It wasn't overnight, but her life became well and fulfilled, and she got to see God do miracles for others. He moved in a great way for her and by her. When conditions are hard, God can make them easier. When they're heavy, he can cause them to become light. When they're harsh, he can make them soft. When they're impossible, he can make them possible. What's against you can turn for your good. So do as Mary. Meditate on and trust God's word where you have need. Always remember this. He has seen what's happened to you that's unfair, unjust, fearful types of events, the actions taken against you. He sees the heavy responsibilities and burdens and hardships, the challenges in your family or your work or finances, the answers that aren't coming to you, and those desires you want to see happen. And He is there as you reach out to Him. So when you face those difficult conditions, know there is one who can make them easier. He will pull together everything you need so you can experience fulfillment and miracles. In 2 Samuel, we're given a story about a woman who faced very sad and difficult conditions. I mean, if God could do something for her, then we know He can do something for us. If He can pull together her life and make it easier after what she went through, He sure can do it for us also. Her name was Bathsheba. Now right away when I say that name, everybody thinks about all the movies that have been made about David and Bathsheba. But think about what she was experiencing. David was king of the Israelites at that time and very powerful. One day after he had awakened, he went out on the roof of his palace. The palace was higher than those homes that were around it, so he could see down into their courtyards. From his vantage point... He saw a woman who was in her courtyard area bathing. When he saw how beautiful she was, instead of turning the other way, he chose to give in to his temptation. So he had his servants go and tell her that she must come see the king. When she arrived, the Bible says he took her. We don't know how much force he used or if she submitted out of fear to the king. But he objectified her and the result was they went to bed together. Then he sent her home. Sometime after that, she sent word to David that she was pregnant. Now, she's married to a soldier named Uriah. He's out to war, so everyone will know the baby isn't his. That's when David starts working hard to have Uriah come home and have relations with his wife, so everyone will think it's his baby. But this soldier is a true one. He won't go home when everyone else is fighting out in the war. So in desperation, David sends word to his commander to put Uriah in the heat of a conflict, then back away just to make sure that he's killed. The plan works. He's killed, and after his wife has mourned his death, David sends for her and takes her as his wife. But the saga isn't over. After she has the baby, he becomes ill, and in spite of everything they do, the baby dies in a few days. What kinds of conditions are those to have? How horrible! She's had relations with another man, That man has her husband murdered, she's mourning, she's pregnant, then her baby dies. Can God enter into such difficult conditions and make them easier? What can he do? God can do so much even in the worst conditions. So don't believe you're in surroundings that can't be made better. I know that's hard sometimes. But here's what happens for Bathsheba. David repents and she becomes queen as his wife. He comforts her during this time and is kind to her. All her needs are taken care of. Then they have another baby son. When that baby is born, the Bible says God had a special love for him. He sent word to David by a prophet that God wanted him to be named a word that means God's beloved. That's amazing. She's hurting. Her whole life has become hard. And now God sends word to her that her child is his beloved. And after he grows up, this child Solomon becomes the next king of Israel and he's very wealthy and wise. How does that happen? I mean, how do you go from such horrible conditions to being comforted, cared for, provided for, and God telling her that he has a special affection for that baby, and then to watch her son grow up to be a mighty king? It can't happen without God. And what you're facing can't become easier without God. 
Whatever has happened to you, maybe someone has done something against you, or you're just feeling the heaviness of responsibility, or you're fighting illness or disappointment. You just can't seem to see things come together. But God can. Oh, He's ministering to you right now so much. He wants you to know He sees those hard conditions, and they are going to become easier. So, as we come before Him in this moment of prayer, He will begin to move inside those conditions. God is going to perform an inside job. This is what He's speaking to your spirit right now. He will perform an inside job, and that will cause the outside conditions to become easier. Believe that God can do anything that has to be done to help you, and He desires to make that happen. So let's pray in His power and His presence. Oh, Father, my friend is hearing something in their heart right now, and it's giving them such hope. They have hope that they won't have to exist in these conditions. They feel the flow of your power coming in and making the changes. In their hearts, they can say, Thank goodness, I don't have to see these hard conditions anymore. Oh, I know you're moving. You're there to comfort them, care for them. But you're also there to move those difficulties and disappointments out of the way. They will see a new day and be in new conditions. Yes, that's it. New conditions. Those will become so much easier and better. Your miracle power is doing amazing work in their behalf. In the name of Jesus, we receive this. We're watching for a tremendous outcome. Amen and amen. Tremendous outcome. That's for what you need to watch. Believe those conditions will become so much easier. No more hardship and struggle. No more difficulty and disappointment. You can be fulfilled and happy and have all you need provided. This is what John and I believe for you. As I have spoken God's word to you, we now believe it can be fulfilled. So trust what he's spoken and come into agreement. John and I are here to pray over you and speak mighty words of power over your life. So drop us a word. Call or write or go to our website. Tell us what conditions are hard and what you need to see become easier. After we pray for you, we'll also drop you a word. It will be a word from God to minister to you. So get in touch with us soon. Okay, here's our spiritual power line. Go around saying these words of power and believe for God to activate them in your life. He wants to hear your faith. So go around off and on all day saying, God is pulling this together. God is pulling this together. He can do that for you. Pull everything together so your conditions are easier. It's so important that you get this message and hear His word. Thus request, God will pull it together. We'll send you all five parts of it in the prayer times. It's offer number AM827. That's 827. You can have a CD of it for a gift of $8 into the ministry. Or you can get a download of it from our website for a gift of $5. Call or write or go to alcottministries.org. That's A-L-C-O-T-T Ministries dot O-R-G. And remember, these messages are not always available, so be sure to request it soon. I'm looking so forward to being with you again tomorrow. This is Jeannie Alcott. God bless you. Thank you for being with us today. We believe God's Spirit is moving in a mighty way. So don't miss the opportunity for Jeannie and John to pray over your life in a personal way. As you share with them, they will intercede by faith for you to receive all God has for you. Call 918-459-9191 or write to Alcott Ministries, Post Office Box 3400, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma 74013 or go to our website at alcottministries.org. That's A-L-C-O-T-T ministries.org. There you can also listen to Word of Power broadcasts as well as request special gift offers and be blessed by devotionals. Now, we encourage you to get a copy of this message and give a gift into God's work. Then, expect Him to grow your giving into wonderful miracles. Be with us next time for a Word of Power.